The supersonic aircraft belonging to the American Space Agency, NASA, is now moving closer to the runway. He is getting ready for his debut flight. The X-59 supersonic aircraft parked in the flight path, the space between the hangar and the runway, at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. According to NASA, the plane was moved from its manufacturing site to the flight path on June 19, 2023. The move from its construction site to the flight line is one of many milestones that prepare the X-59 for its first and subsequent flights. Next up, the team will conduct significant ground tests, including engine runs and taxi tests, to ensure the aircraft is safe to fly. The aircraft's first flight is scheduled for this year after the series of ground tests. This milestone began a series of ground tests to ensure the X-59 was safe and ready to fly as part of NASA's Quest mission. The mission's aim was to demonstrate that aircraft can fly faster than the speed of sound, or Mach 1, without producing the loud sonic boom that supersonic aircraft typically produce. Fifty years ago, the U.S. federal government banned all civilian supersonic flights over land. The rule prohibits non-military aircraft from flying faster than sound, so their resulting sonic booms won't startle the public below or concern them about potential property damage. Officially put into effect in 1973, the ban's introduction was strongly influenced by public opinion surveys in cities where supersonic military jets were flown overhead, and many folks said they didn't like what they heard or the way their windows rattled because of the sonic booms. Although some research suggested ways to soften the impact of sonic booms, aeronautical technology during the 1960s and early 1970s wasn't sophisticated enough to fully solve the problem in time to prevent the rule from being enacted. It's a rule that many people today aren't aware of, yet it's at the heart of what our Quest mission with this quiet supersonic X-59 airplane is all about, said Peter Cohen, NASA's Quest mission integration manager. NASA's X-59 is designed to fly faster than sound, but with drastically reduced noise, people below would hear sonic thumps rather than booms if they hear anything at all. To test the public's perception of this noise, part of the Quest plan includes flying the X-59 over several communities to survey how people react. NASA will deliver the results to U.S. and international regulators who will consider new rules that would lift the ban that has been in place for so long. The goal is for a regulatory shift that focuses on the sound an aircraft creates instead of a speed limit. We're definitely ready to write a new chapter in the history of supersonic flight, making air travel over land twice as fast, but in a way that is safe, sustainable, and so much quieter than before, Cohen said. NASA will then fly the X-59 over several communities to collect data on human responses to sounds produced during supersonic flight. NASA officials said in a statement, the X-59 supersonic jet is expected to produce only the soft thump felt by those on the ground or the equivalent of a car door slamming near them. In comparison, previous generations of supersonic aircraft were known to vibrate their windows when flying above the speed of sound. If that works, the X-59 could lead to new sound-based rules regarding supersonic ground flight. This will open the door for the faster transport of commercial goods and passenger air travel. The aircraft will remain parked near the runway during ground flight tests by Lockheed Martin. The 99.7-foot-long, 29.5-foot-wide plane is powered by a single jet engine, made by General Electric Aviation, a subsidiary of General Electric. This machine is designed to reach speeds of Mach 1.4 or 925 miles per hour at an altitude of 55,000 feet or 16,764 meters. If all goes according to plan, the X-59 will fly over select cities in the U.S. starting in 2024. Local residents can share their thoughts on the sound the X-59 makes. Then, data collected from the flight will be sent to American and international regulators in 2027, when the Quest mission is nearing completion. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.